All right, welcome back to the jungle. We're playing more Briar on PBE. Here's what the pink chroma looks like. I'd give it a nine out of 10. I think if you're beating someone down with this pink, uh, what is it? Honestly, what is it? A uh, life raft thing? And then they'll be feeling pretty bad about it. Um, and then my goal of this video is to kind of give you the basics of what you need to know on playing Briar to begin with. So effectively everything you need to know. So what you need to know is that whenever you hit the enemy more than once, then you stack up this damage that then heals you with Briar's passive. The W, in, you enter a frenzy and you get more attack speed and movement speed towards that target and have an AOE cleave. And then once activated, you then get access to a chomp that deals more damage the lower the enemy is. So what you really need to know is that you enter this frenzy to then deal more damage and then the lower the enemy gets, that's when you want to use that chomp. And that chomp is going to be a big part of your damage and a big part of your healing. So it's this dance of like when you cast it really. You want to E those camps into the wall. Therefore, they collide and it deals more damage. I think the E also gives you damage reduction and heals you. So there's a bunch packed into every single ability. And then on the raptors here, you want to dash towards the big raptor. Because the W will target the closest thing to you. And you'll be hitting that solo. You want to make sure that you're hitting the big parts of the camps. Alrighty, so we're against Lilia. We don't have to invade. All these lanes are pushed, so we'll just put two points in the W and continue full clearing. And you can dash over the wall like that so that you get to the camps faster. Chomp. Auto E. The clear is pretty awkward, I'll give you that. Like, just fully charging an E and then a couple auto attacks, that is dead. Is a bit weird. Chomp. Maybe if I was level 3, I'd be able to go up there. We'll just keep clearing. On Briar, you want to do a full clear. The full clear will give you level 4 and you'll be consistently strong. Her full clear is not bad either. It's pretty fast, all things considered, and very healthy. Like, I would be impressed if you found a way to be below 60% HP during the clear. So right, we're level 6, we get the Q, and now we can look for ganks. But most importantly, since we're level 4, we also have 2 points in the W. Therefore, wow, that damage. Giving us a lot more damage. The Volibear is on cooldown, so I should be able just to uh, run right on top of them. W, Q. Chomp, E. Right into the wall. <laughs> now, we, we are on cooldown, so... But this guy... Used his abilities. W, auto, 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 Q, auto, auto, chomp. Nice. Yeah, Lilia used her E, used her Q, and then is still just walking at me. Once that W comes up, he's screwed. So you want to use that W and the Q in combination to get close to the enemy. Hit them as much as you can, and then look to finish them off with the chomp. I kill this guy. Wow, I'm level 5 too. He has no shadow, so once that expires right there, you can just flash W. Oh, I don't want to use my chomp like that. Stun! Yeah, I'm not going to be able to finish him. Oh, I've never done that actually where I accidentally cast the W again. Alrighty, so that's the first step. Full clear. Fight. Reset. Spend the gold. Now what do I want to buy here? They all deal a good amount of damage, but I'm still going to go Bork. I think I want to have... Let's do it like this, so we have more movement speed. Oh, give me this. Give me this. Thank you. Alrighty. We full cleared. We fought. We won the fights. So we get more items than the enemy. That will make us clear faster, and anytime we fight the enemy afterwards, too, we're going to be a lot stronger. So now I'm just looking to clear my camps, and then if there's some sort of play that I can go to, then I'll respond to that, but I don't have to look to, for anything preemptive. And then, in fact, looking for preemptive things will just waste your time. The real juice right here is getting to level 6. Once I get to level 6, then I'm really, really strong. And I get there very consistently. Whoa! How dare you? Q. 
Okay, my W is coming up here. That's going to be his flash. Uh, maybe if I use my W better. Sorry. Take this! <laughs> You're out of mana. Anyway, he's going to be taking your raptors. Oh. Wow. Oh. Uh. Yeah, I can't really follow up on that. So my W targeted the Lilia even though I dashed towards the Raptors. That's pretty pretty weird. Alrighty. Kind of a waste of time, but worth a shot here. Since my top lane's dead, I'll still look for this invade. Because I know I'm stronger than Lilia right now. She has two amp tomes. I have boots, pickaxe, dagger, long sword. Really? You don't look for the golems? This Lily is going to be starving. And you can smite before the W to then give your uh, W execute damage even more damage. Right, so I get the golems, but that's not what we're really looking for. I want to kill someone. And with the ulti coming up here, if someone's CC'd in the lanes or looking for a recall, that's really good times to shoot this ulti, because if you look at the minimap, this bad boy is like... Almost global. Alrighty, so now we have the ulti. This is like Vex ulti. You want to cast this on any of the lanes that are fighting, basically. Kind of like this. I'm not seeing an easy ulti down there. I'm not seeing an easy ulti up here, either. So if any either one of them gets CC'd, like that's what I'm looking for, really. Oh, cast the ulti right there. Might hit. Come on, Betsy. Oh, he moved. What? I'm on Zed, shit. Auto. 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 Chomp. Chomp. E! Close. Wow. I, I accidentally hit Zed. Oh. <laughs> Let me try this out actually. We'll get Boots of Swiftness and then we can kind of play like Shaco, being a total nuisance on the map. We already have bonus movement speed out of combat with Relentless Hunter, and Boots of Swiftness are like some of the highest movement speed you can get, like flat, and then our W will give us bonus percentage movement speed up to 60% when the W is maxed. Alrighty, so we're back to our full clear, and since our ulti is on cooldown, it's totally fine to be farming. We're looking to get level 7, and then also, if any of the lanes fight, once again we can respond to it. With this extra movement speed too, we'll be way stronger, because we can get to the fights a whole lot faster. My Lissandra doesn't have ulti either, so mid lane's not looking too hot. But Zet's probably roaming, if I had to guess. So let's move down to bot lane. Oh? Oh. My movement speed is crazy though, that's for sure. W, auto, auto, Q, auto, chomp. Nice. We still need a couple camps to get to level 6 here. Lucky me. Wow, it just dies. No matter what items you get on Briar 2, it doesn't really speed up or slow down the clear speed too much. W, auto, auto, Q, auto, auto. <laughs> okay, he fell this thing. Might be able to reach him still. Well played by him, but he's gonna soon learn that my champion is ridiculous. <laughs> we get so much movement speed. 
Let's go ahead and recall by the Bork. Even though these camps are up, better to reset, go this way. And I'm looking for an ulti now. I'm looking for an ulti and looking for the enemy to make a mistake. Shoot this one all the way up here. Oh, I don't think they're going to back off. Oh! Come on, Volley Bear. Close. I'm coming. Ulti. W. Q. Auto. Oh, if you got one more auto in. Revenge for my friend. So since Lily is dead and these camps are respawning, I'll go ahead and take the objective now. I think for the early parts of the game, you should be looking for the farm and for ganks. And then past, like, say, let's say 10 minutes, 30 seconds, and then you can start looking for the objectives on Briar. If you look for the objectives too early, you give up opportunities to fight. And you want to be fighting early so that you can get an advantage and be stronger than the enemy. If you're stronger than the enemy come 10 minutes-ish, then you'll win the objectives for free. There's no reason to skip the order. And if you do, there's a big price to pay. Alrighty, let's clear. I'm level 8 to Lilia's level 7, and that will just keep getting worse for her. My ulti's almost back up too, and that's without any ability haste. The board completed, I'll be clearing the camps a whole lot faster too. Chomp. Nice, we get level 9. Volleybear, you better be careful. If I come up there, I'm going to kick your ass. You know, I said the items don't really ramp the clear speed too much, but I'm owning these camps. The camps are underleveled since we've been fighting so much, but I'm definitely dealing a lot of damage to them. Ult this guy. Stun. Auto. Auto. Chomp. Oh, I didn't have my chomp up, huh? That's fine. And since we kill Zed, we can drop the Rift Herald mid here. You can use the W and the Chomp like that on the wave to heal, too. You'll heal so much. Oh, shoot. Should I ult bot land? No. It's pretty... Oh, I can ult right there for sure. Just don't spell shield it, baby. All right, we're in there. Hello, friends. Q. Oh, wow, I'm still on Sivir, huh? Flash, auto. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was just my W. W, auto, chomp. E, moving. Alrighty, and the turret dealt. 1,400 damage. <laughs> if there was Ohm Wrecker in the game, this champ would be unstoppable, dude. My biggest weakness is these damn turrets. Because I can't stop myself, like... <laughs> uh, Alrighty, second item, what are we thinking? I'm thinking Black Cleaver, just more damage. Stay on top of them, more damage. I think Briar shares the aspect of Belveth where... You don't need a Mythic item. Let's go ahead and complete the Black Cleaver. The Black Cleaver really is, like, way more than, say, the components. Once it's completed, we get extra movement speed when we hit the enemy, and then reduce their armor. You already reduced the armor with, their, with the Q too, so you really don't have to buy, say, the last Whisper item as the game progresses too. Let's get level 10 here. I think Sivir will just keep pushing. So just like the Rift Herald, I'm just taking this dragon when I can. It wouldn't even matter really if the enemy took the first two dragons either. Oh, I saw Lilia right there. Hello, friend. <laughs> Hello. Auto, auto, auto. This guy's getting one shot. Now can I ulti anywhere? No. I'm mainly looking for, like, recalls, too. It is so easy. Now, Volleybear will want to hit the turret, surely. 
Maybe I can have an ulti then. I'm actually going to have to move into range. Because it's not like totally global. We got two points in our ulti now too. Giving us more damage. Damn, Volibear doesn't hit the turret. Oh my god, I forgot to mention too. When you shoot the ulti, it deals a lot of damage. You travel to the person you hit. And then it deals that same damage to everyone around. Fears them. Gives you armor, magic resist, movement speed, and lifesteal. So there's just a whole bunch packed into it. But all you really need to know is hit that global ulti and go in and you're stronger. Speaking of which, we are very strong. And someone's going to have to pay. Rip. Oh, I tried to do the indicator range. Oh, I might be going bot lane real quick. Okay, sorry, Nar. <laughs> sorry, big man. I'm going down here. <laughs> okay, we just have the autos, but it seems to be working out. Nice. The Sivir build is so bad. This is like PBE stuff, you know? <laughs> Sivir, how did you find yourself here? Poor guy. Okay, we're getting in there. Chomp. Nice. You can use the E to cancel the W. You know, so much for this one being a tutorial. Like, <laughs> like, I don't even tell uh, everything you need to know. Anyways, use the E to cancel the W. 17 minutes in. Let's go ahead and reset. Now from here, uh, I am looking to complete a mythic. The tankier I can get, the better. Hmm. Let's take a look at all the mythic items here. We have Stride Breaker, Divine Sunderer, Gore Drinker. Even Shroud doesn't seem too good. <laughs> Radiant Virtue doesn't seem too good. Iceborne seems alright. But they don't have enough AD damage. Maybe we could try out Eclipse, honestly. Because that deals more damage to them, like based on how much HP they have. And since we're turbo fed, might as well. The Lethality will also be making the ulti deal a lot more meaningful damage. Oh, alrighty, GG. Nothing special, honestly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like for more Briar. Thank you. Peace.